to you a new product that we discovered. Yeah. Uh, we're going to try it out, see if it claims to be as wonderful as it is. Yeah, we have seen a lot of things on Instagram about it. It's the slick um, car wash setup. A lot of the stuff I see on Instagram is about um, washing ATVs, motorcycles, all that sort of stuff. So I emailed them about my trailer to see what would be best, and this is what they sent us. So we're going to try it out and see what happens. The trailer's been sitting out for a few months, getting water spotted. Last time we used it, we didn't wash the bugs off the front, so I'm interested to see if it washes the bugs off. Oh, that works. Yeah. yeah. First step is we're going to rinse it off. Then I'm going to hook up the foam cannon and see how it does. We have it all sudsed up and the directions say to let it sit for three to five minutes without drying for best results. Um, and then it says agitate with a soft bristle brush or microfiber towel. Uh, rinse surfaces until, or rinse surfaces using a pressurized washer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it sit and just see what happens. Um, and then if I have to go over it again, I'll go over it again to kind of rough it up a little bit. So what are you doing, Kara? I'm using our multi-purpose cleaner and degreaser. Tough dirt, oil, grease, and grime without corrosion. So that's nice on our rims. Apply solution and agitate with scrub brush for best results. Allow, allow product to soak one to two, rinse and dry using clean towel. Oh, oh, <laughs> note in fine print. Always spot test on hidden surfaces. So after washing it, it cleaned up real nice, but down here at the bottom, we still have some water spotting. So I'm going to take and uh, go over that one more time to see if I can get it to clean up a little bit better. But overall, it looks pretty dang good throughout the rest of the trailer. Nice shine to it. Took very little scrubbing of any sort. And I think if you were to do it more often, it would take basically no scrubbing. The first thing I'm gonna do is go over the area with some warm water to try to just soften it up a little bit. Now that I've went over there and kinda of just got it wet with warm water, I'm gonna take the solution here and go over it one more time with a little bit more elbow grease.
All right, after letting that sit, let's see if that takes that hard water off. I'm gonna take the little towel, little microfiber towel, and just dry off where I just rinsed. So after going over it a few times, got rid of all the hard water that had built up for probably about a year. You can see reflection in it. Thanks once again to Slick Products for sending us their products for us to do a little review on. They worked great. As you can see, the trailer is looking amazing. I would highly recommend it. If you get a chance, go online, check them out, order from them. They have great customer service. And as always, have a great weekend. Thanks. If you like the video, go ahead and like and subscribe. If you have any comments on how you have washed your rigs or comments on the Slick RV products, go ahead and comment below. Thanks.